Look what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa also said in this report by Imam Muslim. مَا مِنْ مُسْلِمٍ يَغْرِسُ غَرْسَ أَوْ يَزْرَعُ زَرْعَ فَيَأْكُلُ مِنْهُ إِنْسَانٌ أَوْ طَيْرٌ أَوْ بَهِيمَةٌ إِلَّا كَانَتْ لَهُ صَدَقَةٌ وَمَا سُرِقَ مِنْهُ لَهُ صَدَقَةٌ Allahu Akbar. Rahmatun ammada. Rahma or what? In this, he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in accordance to the meaning of this hadith, reported by Imam Muslim and others, including Al-Bukhari. I gave the version of Imam Muslim. Whenever a Muslim plants any, any plant, or Yazra'u zara'a, or puts in seeds for any sort of, uh, of plant that is useful, that is edible. And then, whenever any human being eats from it, or any animal or any bird, even that which is stolen from it will be rewarded, will be given to the individual as a sadaqah, will be considered as if a person went on willingly and gave all of that in sadaqah. Whether you give it to an individual or an animal comes and eats from it or a bird or stolen from you, subhanAllah, Allah gives you that from his rahmah as Sadaqah. Not only it is rahmah to you, but look what the rahmah is here as well about. The rahmah to what? Not only to human beings, but to animals and birds. And that counts as an act of sadaqah. And sadaqah comes from a feeling usually of rahmah. The person who is not rahim is rarely mutasaddiq.